This is Focus on Solid Material Papillations. My name is Dr. Johnson and I'm a gynaecologist from Southampton. The IOTA group, the International Ovarian Tumor Analysis Group, wrote terms and definitions of adnexal pathology, all described using transvaginal ultrasound, in order to standardize terminology in the description of adnexal masses. This was their original paper from 2000, but there have been many more since. These are the different criteria used to describe adnexal masses. We're going to be talking about solid material, papillary structures and wall irregularities. A solid component is a structure that has echogenicity suggestive of tissue. But the white ball of a dermoid does not count as solid tissue. And blood clot or mucin does not count as solid tissue. A papillary projection is a protrusion which measures more than 3 mm in height from the cyst wall and it also counts as a solid component. If the protrusion is less than 3 mm, it counts as an irregularity, not as solid material and not as a papillation. An irregular solid lesion means either or an irregular internal wall or an irregular outer contour of a so solid lesion. This is solid material, which is not a papillation. You can see it's a bit of solid tissue, but it does not really indent the internal cyst wall. Here are two papillations. These two bits of solid area clearly indent the cyst wall, which is now irregular. A papillation has to be more than 3 mm in height from the cyst wall that it originates from more than three millimeters in height. It's a papillation and it counts as solid material. This papillation did not have vascularity at a PRF of 0.3, but it did have some shadowing. A small papillation more than three millimeters in height from the cyst wall that it originates from. Here are some papillations, so this is a papillation and that one is and that one, but this one you can see that it only measured 2.8 millimetres, so it does not count as a papillation, but it counts as a wall irregularity. This is a little video of that case, where you can see it is unilocular solid, and really the entire internal wall is grossly irregular with many papillations and some smaller wall irregularities. So the key features are that a wall irregularity slightly indents the cyst and measures less than three millimeters in height and does not count as solid material. A papillation indents the cyst and measures more than 3 mm in height. It also now counts as solid material. Not all solid material indents a cyst. It is just solid. These are the other chapters available in the playlist Focus On. Thank you.